No, good week then as we go into the uh, on your travels again to uh, to Crawley, and I believe you did say you were going to take in their game. Uh, you learn anything from it if you did go and watch it? Uh, yeah, it's it was very cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we went down and took Fred, who uh, introduced himself as David Artel's driver when we got there. Which was <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was it was it's always a worthwhile experience seeing the, the opposition play. Um, you know, we certainly learned a lot about how they play, the style, players, um, and what South End did on the night. Um, yeah, it's always it's always worthwhile. It's good exercise then, really. Did you see maybe changes what the new manager might have implemented in his short time there? Yeah, I, I think, for my mind, uh, you know, their, their board's made quite a shrewd signing because it seems to be of the same type as what Harry Kuehl was, so there's not been vast changes, <coughs> but his own style and his own way, and you go, well, that's quite a, you know, you know, compliment the board for doing that, because, as we've seen, some uh, football clubs appoint managers that are drastically different from the previous one, and then six weeks later they're out of the job themselves because they've tried to change it and put their stamp on it, and put it their way, but he's... You know, he gets them trying to play a bit of football, and they're not afraid to, you know, to mix it and whack it uh, up to Palmer, who obviously can't play, but um, they'll have someone I'm sure is equally as effective as him up front. Um, so you go, well, oh, you know, they're, they're there to be beaten, but at the same time, um, you've got to respect them. As you say, Palmer was a threat, but you don't count them as a one man team, do you? They've got other opportunities elsewhere across the pitch, haven't they? Well, sometimes when the one man doesn't play for whatever reason, the rest of the team come out of the shadow and they're actually a better team. And we've got to be wary of that. Um, we've got to make sure that the Palmer's not playing it. Maybe it's like not Paulian or Camaro up front or either of the wingers, somebody step up to the play. We can't allow that to happen. So we've got to make sure that we're on our game. And if we are, then we'll, as we've said often, we're a match for any team in this league. That inconsistent, aren't they really? And that's the word that we use about a lot of teams in this league. Um, but I suppose on the day they can, like anyone else, beat anyone else, Dad, can't they? Yeah, exactly. You know, they've got half decent home form. Um, I'm not too sure they're clever away. Um, but they've certainly got good home form. Um, so it's going to be a test. Um, I like to think that we've improved our away form of, of late. Um, and we've got to go there and knowing that it's a, it's a, a winnable game. Partly for me, Dave, obviously, we heard the passing of Harold Finch. One yeah. of, if you want to use the word, a legend, I suppose, yeah. within one club man down the years. He said he'd done it, got the T-shirt, got to use that. Sad day for the club, wasn't it? Yeah. He was a terrific guy, Harold. You know, I'm sure he'll have, uh, wherever he goes, he'll have called off at Iceland on the way, if that was his second sort of his passion and all the volcanoes and uh, the terrain that he often spoke about after he spoke about crew. Um, he, he was a terrific guy. His knowledge were unquestionable. And, and like I said, what he'd seen, um, you know, he could write books and books and books on it. Um, he was a terrific guy and he, he was a big loss, yeah. But he did carry the brand of crew right across the country, or as you already said, when he was abroad in every sense. Yeah. I'll, I'll use the word ambassador, I know that wasn't the title, but he, <coughs> you have to say he's close to that, wasn't for this club? Yeah, he was. He, he's, he, he's, the kind of, he's the kind of person that um, football clubs um, rely on to, to spread goodwill, and, and it's heartfelt. You know, it is what, what he says he, he really meant because you won't be a supporter for that long. But he, and you know, he was, a, he was a terrific guy, he was a really, really nice guy. Um, and I say it's a sad loss. Uh, football clubs, you know, they, they, get, they do get touched by people like him because, because of their love for the football club, it's, it's unwavering. You can see it, you know, it just comes out of them. Um, and, and how does one of them?